We're at the main terminal here in Manila now and the sun is shining unfortunately. We left Cavinti yesterday and it was pouring with rain. Well actually it stopped kind of right as we were checking out and then it started again. But hopefully when we get to Boracay which is the place we're going to today we'll get some more sunshine maybe. Sunshine and good vibes. Hopefully. We've seen a lot of rain. A lot of rain. <laughs> Nine fifty. Nine fifty. Yeah. <laughs> he has all the information. Do you have bags? Yes. How many bags? Uh, one each. Do we have seats together? Uh, yes. Yay! Yay. Yes. Woo. Which way? This way. Are you excited? Yes. Woo. Shall we head into a lounge? Yes, please. I would like a coffee and some pastries if they have them. Check inside first because the only available seat is. Oh, we were about to go sit in uh, the lounge there, but turns out it was tiny, tiny. And she was like, "You can sit here." And it was like a chair right by the door. I think like, it was just really full. They must just have a lot of people traveling through right now. So I think we should find maybe a cafe or something or somewhere to get something. Hmm. I mean, we get those uh, lounge accesses for free with our credit card, but I still don't want to just sit just in the middle of uh, the door. <laughs> Uh, salted caramel ice. Uh, can I please have a salted caramel hot? So one hot, one ice. Oh yes, and uh, red velvet muffin. Thank you. Thank you. This airport is so busy. We thought, oh, we'll just grab our coffees and sit down on one of the other chairs somewhere. There's people sitting on the floor, there's people sitting on the stairs. We finally found a quiet part of the airport. If we just carry on walking to like the end gate, there's literally nobody here. Over the last week or so, we've been exploring Manila. We started off in Metro Manila and we ate loads of delicious foods. We definitely got some sunshine and we saw the most epic light shows. Then we also took a little road trip down to the outskirts of Manila where we went to Tagaytay Te, and then we went to the glamping capital of the Philippines, even though it was pouring with rain the whole time. <laughs> So now we need some peace and quiet, some sunshine. So we're heading to Boracay. Driving around Manila is something I never want to do again. It's <laughs> fine, you know, we didn't crash or anything, no bumps at all, but there's a lot of traffic pretty much all day long. Loads of people warned us and they were like, oh yeah, you're in Manila, the traffic. And we were like, it's not going to be that bad. <laughs> it was pretty bad, but we had like music. We were vibing in our car. It was still super fun, but I'm glad I wasn't driving. <laughs> But we have enjoyed Manila, it's been really busy, which is what we kind of like in a city. Yeah. But time now to get some sunshine and some more calm life. Yeah, and see some blue waters. Oh yeah. I'm really excited to see the blue waters out of the aeroplane. We haven't seen any of that yet. We've literally just seen the metro side of Philippines. Yeah, and when we flew into Manila, when we arrived, it was in the middle of the night. We didn't see anything. No. So yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> everyone that we've spoken to, any staff anywhere, and everyone we've come across has been like, oh, you have to go to Boracay. And we're like, yeah, that's where we're going next. And they're just so excited. They're like, oh, you will love it. And now I'm really excited. Even now, when we were waiting to get into the airport, the lady was like, oh, where are you going? And we were like, oh, Boracay. And she was like, oh. I'm super excited. Oh no, I think that's the only icing. It's a good way to start the day. <laughs> <laughs> I've got loads of coins. They keep just building up in this country. Um, so I'm gonna go to the shop, one of these shops, and see what I can find. He says in this country, but everywhere we go that they have coins, we have like sacks full of coins towards the end, and then we have to spend them all at the airport. <laughs> it's super embarrassing. I got some sesame, something brittle, and some peanuts brittle. Oh, nice. Looks nice, yeah? Yeah, that looks really good. 30 pesos each. Great. Is that what we had then? 60 pesos? No, we had a little bit more, but <laughs> the lady was like, um, hustling me. She's like, oh, do you want to try this? Do you want to try this? Do you want to try this? And I was like, I'll just take these things. <laughs> <laughs> This airport is way warmer than the airports we were in in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. But I had to put a coat on. It was so cold, wasn't it? You hopefully won't need any sleeve tops where we're going. No, please. It's sunshine all around. It better be. Oh, I hope so. It better be. It better be. 
Does anyone else get that feeling when you're sat at the gate and it's meant to be open but it hasn't opened and you're sat there thinking have I missed this flight or you know is everyone else in the same boat? <laughs> We're flying with Air Asia and they changed the terminal last minute from terminal 4 to 3 so there's no signs or anything for Air Asia. Um, we had to kind of find the only, there was only one uh, notice board that had Air Asia flights on it. But there's no Air Asia staff. All of the staff seem to be wearing yellow and Air Asia is red, isn't it? Yeah. We're in the right place at the right time. All right, everyone's standing up, so I think it's time to go. Well, we've just seen our bags on the plane, so that's good. Yeah, that's always a good start. So we know that they'll make it to the same place that we're going to. Yeah. See you in Barkay. The views from the plane were so nice. You could see the blue water and the sand and loads of palm trees. Oh my god, I've missed it. We haven't had it for a while now. No, we haven't. This is like serious holiday vibes. I am so excited to be here. I'm so used to having a baggage claim belt, but I think here they just come and lay them out in front of you on like a little desk. It's a small airport. <laughs> what did you say these were? Sesame. I asked her what it's inside and she also said sesame, so. It's squishy. I think in the middle, but I don't... it's like chewy, okay. it's sweet, it's really tasty. Oh, there are bags. One. I'll be right back. <laughs> Yours is so much heavier. Yeah. <laughs> So the island that we're going to is Boracay and this yeah. airport is not actually in Boracay so we have to somehow find a way over to the island. I think it's very close though, very close. I'm, I'm assuming there'll be people here selling boat tickets. Uh, yeah, I was just gonna say that. I hope there's someone here. Oh, maybe here. Yeah. Maybe here. Yes sir, here's your father. Yes sir. Hello. So you take us from here to the hotel? Yes. Yeah. So maybe get rid of more of these coins now. <laughs> We just booked a transfer, taxi and boat, and the taxi to our hotel, and the way back for 3,400 pesos. I think that's a pretty good deal. She says it's about an hour. So per person, 25 pounds, I think, if my math is correctly. Yeah, are we the only people in this van? I think we are the only ones here. I just saw him counting the, sheet, um, the seats, so maybe there's more people. Nope, there's definitely not more people coming if you close the door. <laughs> It's always like scary to buy things straight as you land in the airport. Yeah. We should have done some research, to be honest. Um, we haven't had time yet. I feel like that's a good deal. And on the way back, she gave us like discounts because we for booked for the both same ways, yeah. company. I but, think yeah. out of simplicity, it's just nice being able to jump into one van and just know that they'll bring you right to your hotel. They'll tell you where to go, which boat to get on, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. <laughs> <laughs> We're in like a checkpoint. Hotel booking, valid ID. Oh yeah, they gotta check that you actually have a booking, etc. etc. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bye. This is very exciting. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Oh wow, we made it. I, you, this was like the simplest, most straightforward trip ever. I think yeah. as soon as we paid for the transport, these guys and gals in blue t-shirts have been escorting us, like quite literally almost holding our hands to get to our hotel. Yeah, <laughs> so nice. And it looks very busy, this island. Yeah. The boat was packed, there was loads yeah. of other boats going as well. Yeah. I'm excited. Oh my god, look at the water. Yeah. In the bus, I was like, I got confused for a second. I thought I was in a different country because coming from Manila, yeah. a very built up city, mm -hmm. you go on a flight and you think, did we just go to a new country? But no, it's just the islands. This is, this is kind of the Philippines that 
we've been seeing, you know, like growing up. Yeah. It's like the blue, blue waters and the beautiful palm trees. I think it's time for some island. Yeah. Some smaller island life. Some exploring. <laughs> some exploring. We just arrived at our hotel. We didn't realize how big this place was. It's called Fairways and Blue Water Resort. It's a hotel with a golf course in the middle. We like arrived in the hotel and we still were driving for about 10 minutes until we reached reception. It's just gonna go and check in now. Right, let's get our paperwork and then we can check in. Yes. Okay, there's loads of desks. That was not the check-in desk, that was just another desk. Now we're heading to the check-in desk. Hello. Thank you, how are you? Thank you. Could we? Yes, please. Ready to come from here to Kremlin. Ah, Ooh, wow. nice. The nice room. Yay. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> what about um, golf? Golf for the nine holes. Yep. It's cost of a green fee, it's 2,500. We stay here? Um, yeah, you can sit for a while and then yeah. we'll prepare your card. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Our room's been upgraded. Yeah, yes. what, did, what did you say it's been upgraded to? Something from like premium to premium plus or something. I just heard upgrade and I got super excited. This hotel is massive. Huge. There's four swimming pools. And there's like five restaurants and you're saying that to get from one place to the other you need a golf cart. Hello. We're going to have to show you this place properly in another mm -hmm. video, but we'll show yeah. you where we're staying in our room when we get to our room. We'll give you a sneak peek of the hotel. Yeah. But then we'll have to get a little bit settled and we'll show you around properly. Mm -hmm. Look at that! That looks really nice! So this hotel is definitely out of our normal budget. I think so it's much. our first time having like an actual holiday. In the first few days we will be doing some filming and stuff, but after that, I think we'll have like almost a whole week to do yeah. nothing. But this place looks awesome. There's like pools everywhere. Yeah. There's like golf course in the middle. Yeah. There's a vibe here. There's loads of people here. It's a serious resort. Yeah. There's a spa. But what comes with a place out of our budget is also more expensive food. So we're thinking of just like sharing a pizza or something for now while we wait for our room to be ready. But it feels so different to Manila. You know, it's like... Miles apart. Yeah. yeah. So excited. I'm so excited to be here. I think they're just putting our luggage in our room and getting it sorted so we can just eat our pizza and then... Our room's ready. Yeah. Holiday! Thank you. Oh yeah. Coca-Cola tastes like holiday. Like from when I was a kid, whenever you went on holiday, it's like you're allowed one Coke a day. Oh yeah. But now I'm an adult, I can have as many as I want. <laughs> now, this is when the holiday starts. You got a mango shake. I can hear the water. I can hear the pool. Mm -mm. Holiday vibes. Oh yeah. Holiday food starts now. <laughs> to be honest, we travel a lot. We go to nice places, but we never really go to a resort. No. Can't remember the last time we had a pizza either. No. Cheers. Happy Cheers. holiday. Happy holiday. <laughs> it tastes like a holiday. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. It's fresh. Ah. <laughs> Room's ready. Ah. See somebody with our bags already. <laughs> Are you sure you have that? No worries. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, your room will be on the sixth floor. Oh. Where are you from, sir? I'm from the UK. I'm UK. from Sweden. Sweden. Mm. You? Um, from here, sir. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no worries, guys. We brought our whole lives with us. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you have two beds? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is so nice. Is that? Oh my god, there's a view of the golf course. Golf course, yes. You're facing our front nine. Wow. That's amazing. Definitely having a coffee here, watching some people play golf. Oh. Wow, this is so nice. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Okay, okay, wait. Why is it so big? It's so spacious. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Look at me. You don't need a gym. I'll just do this. Woo! I got very, very excited. 
Welcome to our upgraded room, Fairway and Blue Water Resorts in Boracay. First thing you see when you come into our spacious room is our bathroom with a very large vanity mirror, shower, toilets, everything looks and smells very nice. Then we have not one, but two double beds. Yeah. In case we have an argument, in case we want to push them together and just sleep across the other way. Mini fridge. Oh, it's stocked. Oh, nice. That's the first. Ketzo, so we can make our nice little budget instant coffees. Massive TV. A, a desk. place for Dildil to do some uh, work. But. But. This. Oh. This here. Officially, this is the golf course, but this is like the piece de resistance oh. of this view. The grounds of this resort is so, 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 so big. There's like, you could have a pool view, you could have a view to the other direction, but we have a view of the most glorious huge green grounds a little lake golf course palm trees surrounding it blue skies i have looked at the prices of the golf it is quite reasonable actually they do also offer the shoes clubs and the golf carts as well nine holes or 18 holes and i think with the golf course being right here i think it'll be hard to say not to i'm not a golf player but dylan is i can't keep him from this this <laughs> is definitely his time to shine <laughs> you can be my caddy no, that's the other thing. It comes with a caddy. So someone will come with us and uh, show us around and tell us where to hit the ball. We'll show you more of this place and Boracay in the next video. But for now, I think we're just going to probably sit here. Have a nice little coffee right here. Yeah. And just, oh, I'm so glad it's not raining. Yes. Happy holiday. Happy holidays. Woo. Bye. <laughs>